on here. Okay, uh, back here with a no, another live stream or a new live stream. It's been a couple of months, two, three months since I did one. Um, kind of watching my laptop up there, make sure it's uh, working. It's working. I can see me. Oh, I haven't listened to the sound yet. That's what I got to do. Um, <clears throat> normally, I don't have. Let's see. Where is it? Tell you what I'm talking about. There's a laptop up there behind my new camera. That's what it's going to be about is that camera that's up there on the tripod. But first, I got to make sure audio and video is working. Okay, good. Hopefully, it will. It does it all the time. It starts out red and then goes green after a while. Hopefully, it will go green. Because if it stays red, that means I'm going to end up with dropping frames and stuff. So, uh, there's a little red line at the top. I, mean, I know you can't really see what's on the screen up there, but uh, in the screen down here, my main monitor, that's that's my OBS Studio control control center there where I'm controlling my stream. So um, <clears throat> this is the new camera. It's a, it, it's a yeah Comry, I believe is the brand name. Uh, got it a few months ago and made a couple of videos and with it, you know, setting it up, testing it, <clears throat> and uh, recorded some videos straight onto it was the first thing I did, and then then I learned how to hook it up to the uh, <coughs> the uh, USB, <coughs> get it to send video through the USB, and it says it'll do 4K and um, 1080p and all the way down to like 480 or something, but uh, it only has a, a 13 megapixel sensor in it so it's not doing real 4k they they try to uh, bump it up with the software in these cheap cameras like this I, I, a lot of them do it uh, you know some of the name brands do it too I uh, found out over the years um, I still want to call it bit banging but I don't know if that's right I never did remember to look it up and see if that's what that's really actually about um, upscaling might be a way to say it it's probably a pretty accurate way to say it. That that's a real common thing they've been using for the last uh, almost twenty years. Uh, usually that means you do that nowadays. Uh, well, there have been. I've got a DVD recorder that I bought probably ten years ago now. Uh, it doesn't the DVD doesn't work, but it has an ATSC digital tuner in it, and it still works. It's hooked up to the TV, but. Uh, it could do it live, you know. It had the hardware and software in it that could do it. Uh, it would upscale, like if you were playing a, it's a, if you had a, started to say, it doesn't have a VCR built in, but you can run a VCR through it, you know. Uh, anyway, if you had a less than, it'll go up to 720p, you know. That was, the, that was the, the top you would get for home consumer stuff back then, you know, or at least that you could afford. Um, but anyway, it would, up, magically upscale it while you're playing a video like say uh, I think it would do, I don't know if it would do it on the input like if you know a, v, a, a VGA I mean a RF or a composite input I don't know if it would do that or not I can't remember but anyway you can buy software you can get open source free software or freeware for Windows or whatever and that will do it uh, and on a computer but it usually takes hours to days to do any video of any size you know and now they have something that I really I haven't tried yet, but I want to. But this machine can't handle that kind of thing. It's only a quad core with four gig RAM. You have to say only now. I used to that was pretty darn good, you know, not too many years ago. But uh, uh, <clears throat> they have some uh, software that's using uh, AI software that uh, does. You may see you can see it on video if you look the up 4K uh, upscaled or whichever way they you know, they anyway just look up. If you f you'll find old videos, I mean, all the way back from, I saw one, I haven't watched it yet. It's claimed to be the oldest video in the world, but actually I, n I know that's not true because I saw the, I haven't watched it, but I saw the screen uh, snapshot of it, and that's not the video this, that they, uh, one day I spent a whole day researching that kind of thing, and uh, that's not the one that I, every, every seemed like the consensus was, was the actual oldest video in the world. I don't know. I didn't watch it yet. And I'm off on a sidetrack, but, uh, anyway, it's really cool because like, uh, you may have heard, uh, you may have seen the video 
real popular a few years ago and um uh what is it a walk down or a trip a trip down market street uh, it was a, a video made in the early 1900s before the big uh I want to say the Chicago fire, the big, um, this is in California, uh, San Francisco, I think, fire, the big fire that burned the whole town down just about. Uh, and actually it shows, you go, it, it, it's, it's, you know, it's about 20 or 30 minutes long and it, and it takes you all the way down Market Street. And I've seen the original, I've seen some that were upscaled a few years ago, and now this one says it's upscaled to 4K, but, uh, and it looks fantastic. It, it's just really amazing that they could make it look that good. But uh, some of them, they'll, they're, you know, they're originally black and white. They'll colorize them and stuff. Anyway, um, I don't know how I got off on that. I want to do that s as soon as I can. I, I have a, I have a, uh, let's see, yeah, I have a server that I bought. And I bought it not so much to be a server, but to be my powerful desktop. It's a Hewlett Packard. Um, it's used one. It only, I got it for 300 bucks. With shipping and you know the price and the shipping is about right at three hundred bucks and I haven't started using it yet because uh, well I need to get a video card for it I think to do what I want to do with it but uh, <clears throat> and it's going to take some setup and all that you know and some learning curve too but uh, I already tried running I, I know it runs Fedora uh, Linux just fine that's what I like it's, that's what I'm running right here right now um, anyway um, it has sixty four gig of RAM. Uh, two six core processors and when you when you run it if you run any kind of you know hardware detecting app on it it sees it as 24 cores with the hyper threading so you've got 24 cores available to the software uh, 64 gig of RAM uh, of course the the video and, and when you want to get into editing video and doing these kind of things then I think it would really help to have you could just do it on the virtual machines and but uh, I, I want to use it as like a desktop, and so you need more. It's got 64 megabyte of onboard video, and that's just not even this. <laughs> this one here that I'm using right now is 256 megabyte, and it it uh, gives me all kinds of headaches if I try to do anything that uses much video. Just watching YouTube videos, um, you um, will be, uh, you will sometimes I used to. I don't know what happened really. Maybe it's something they changed in Fedora because I started out with like Fedora 26 or 27 on it when I first got it. My eyes is 23. I started with 23, and I used to could have to reboot it every about three hours just from watching you if I was sitting around watching YouTube videos and stuff. But I don't really have to do that anymore. As a matter of fact, I can stream my videos uh, for hours, one to five hours. I've done it. <clears throat> I can watch YouTube all day if I don't, if I, that's all I'm wanting to do, you know. Uh, and uh, usually I don't have to reboot uh, the thing to get it to keep working. So I, I imagine, I guess I hadn't even really thought about it lately because it's been a while. Uh, I guess Fedora figured out a better way to manage the video memory, you know, to, to stop it from uh, filling it up uh, and staying there, the cache from filling it up. But anyway, um, okay, I've been go I've been I've been preparing for this for hours. Um, yeah, let's see if I can do this. Uh, something I, what I want. The, I've already got. You know, you're watching me over the uh, USB through uh, output from the camera from this camera. It uh, <clears throat> and I want to. I haven't tried the. Uh, it also does Wi-Fi. I don't know. I think all it may be good for is just previewing the signal on a phone or a tablet. Uh, like what I normally do, like this camera here, that's a phone. I have three identical phones. Uh, and they uh, stream over the Wi-Fi, and that's how I've been doing my video for years. Um, works pretty good, except for that the audio and video. And my audio is going through my SM58 here. You can see it on the boom stand. Uh, it goes to the SM58 over here to my. Uh, you can kind of see it if I switch back to the other camera. Over here, I've got my Behringer uh, 802 mixer, and then my Behringer feed amp effects. It's really for guitars, but it it does have. Just, just some of the basic uh, bit, uh, the things you just really need in the uh, compressor, noise gate, and actually it has a it's got two or three, four reverbs in it for voice that are made for voice. But this one I'm using, it actually you know when you're not singing, when you're just talking, you don't want echo. You want to actually take it out. So that's the one I'm using, and uh, works quite well. It's not as good as uh, you know uh, some rack mount gear, but uh, 
it, it's decent. It's fine. You know, it's just fine and dandy. So um, <clears throat> anyway, let's go over to the endoscope. And this is the box, and I wanted to show some of the uh, some of the specs on it. Uh, this is the little graph of the specs or spreadsheet sort of thing. That's what it says it has in it, a Sony uh, 13 megapixel CMOS sensor. And uh, so that's not, if you know anything about sensors at all, you know that's not anywhere near 4K. And that's how I know that they are using the soft, you know, the the uh, up, I can't think of my word, the, the upgrading software. I don't know a lot about lenses. That's the lens in it. I used to hang out with a buddy that's a really good photographer, and he taught me stuff. But back in the 90s, he taught me some of that, and then I, you know, forgot it over the years. <clears throat> but uh, I was always into, he was really into uh, still pictures, and I was always more into video. But, uh, and of course, you need to learn that to be really good at video too. But I, I just my memory is worse than ever these days. I never have good. I had a good memory for. I don't know <laughs> when I was young, I was really into, you know, hot rod cars and motors, and you know I could tell you motor specs. Still to this day, of course, I remember a lot of my motor specs. But I guess I learned that was all the numbers I could learn. I don't know. <laughs> and uh, a three inch touch IPS touch screen. Uh, and uh, it says it'll do, and the resolution it says it'll do, they call it UHD for Ultra HD 4K. It says it QHD, I don't really know what that's supposed to mean, 2.7K, FHD 1080p, HD 720p, VGA 480p. And you can select the different things. And yeah, you know, in the advertisements on, I bought it on Amazon. It said it would do uh, 1080p at 60 frames per second and 1080p at 30 frames per second. And it, the 4K is 20. I think they say it's 24, 25 frames per second. You can see it when you shoot a, the, the highest, you know, setting it's got. Uh, like the first thing I did was I, I was snowing. It, you know, we don't get much snow here in, in North Texas, and it was snowing one day. So I rushed and grabbed. I had just bought the camera, hadn't even tried it out yet, and I grabbed it and just turned it on and, and did what I could, you know. And uh, when you, you, if you move the, uh, it was kind of cool in a way at that particular time because the way it uh, didn't have as many frames in the video, you actually saw the flakes really well. <laughs> but if you move the camera, you better move extremely slow or it's going to be jerky and choppy and terrible. So uh, I don't know if I can get, I've got this uh, endoscope on a tripod and it, uh, the legs are going to starting to get in my way. Uh, the rest of it's, let's see, we can put in it. I got a 30, well, I got a 128 or a 256 megabyte. Let's see, I've got another one sitting here, an uh, SD card. I don't remember what I bought. I bought three of them, ended up buying three of them. 128 gigabytes uh, yeah i get. i think the price jumped up too much for me to want to buy the 256 that that's uh gives you quite a bit of video to do well if the 4k it might not be as near as much but uh let's see what's this part oh the resolution well now it's still a little, yeah see they got two resolution setting uh graphs there not graphs but Okay, they say they'll do 48M. I, that's supposed to be megapixel, I believe. I find that hard to believe. Or 30 megapixels, 20 megapixels, all the way down to uh, 2 megapixels in different settings in there. Um, <clears throat> and then the SD card, I skipped that by accident. The video is MP4. Oh, yeah, MP4 video photos are JPEG, MPG. It does have an uh, infrared night light on it and uh, zoom is only digital no optical zoom 16x and of course when you zoom in it's going to get grainy because it's just digital zooms just can't do what optical zooms can do now let's see over here exposure and um, i don't know much about the exposure plus three minus three is there anything else in there i can't get running into the legs again Port, oh, USB 
2.0 HD uh, HDMI is what it is. I can't get it up under the deal. I guess I could turn it sideways. I don't know if we can read it that way, but yeah. Wi Fi it has Wi Fi. VHB. And it's just getting silly now to try to do anything else with it um, <clears throat> under there. But um, gosh. this is the box that comes in. And it doesn't even say the brand on it. I was trying to make sure what the brand was. And uh, is it anywhere on here, I haven't. Dang it. Nearly uh, dropped it on my keyboard. I don't know tell what that had done to my stream. Let me grab what I knocked on. <laughs> well, crap. I was worried about that, and I moved the mic out of my way, and the, uh, the mic set. A, I don't even know which button it was on, but whatever button it was, it brought it down to my <laughs> different, changed my scene. It was, uh, let me see. You can see my scene settings here, see on the left, uh, that it brought it all the way to the bottom of my exit scene. So I didn't even know it until I looked back up. <clears throat> so, um, I don't want to drop that on the keyboard again, so I'll shut the keyboard. So anyway, um, I've made, I don't think I've actually showed the camera itself, but that, uh, if I spend a lot of time doing that, then I'll never, uh, I was trying to figure out if there's anything else I'd want to show on here. Not really. The only other thing I was interested in showing was the um, in the instruction book, all oh, this stuff is so small, but I want to try. Oh, I want to. What I want to do is try to hook up. I think I, I already looked at my router and I couldn't. Well, I'd, I got to turn it on. You can't turn on the Wi Fi while you're using the USB, so I'd have to get that's why I got the other camera set up because when I get to that point, I'll have to turn it, turn it off the USB part and. Uh, use the other camera but uh i had um in order you know you notice i have uh i have two usb cameras i have the 4k camera right now and i have the usb endoscope which i've been using the endoscope for years there's nothing under there now um uh, i was trying to get to the page where you can set up the Wi-Fi, but really all I need to do, I guess, is just for, for right now, I'm just going to set that under there. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to be trying to show it. So, uh, at least that way I'll know, well, that's real, it's too far away, I'll have to change all that. But um, what I was going to do, I want to get on the desktop and show you. Yeah, and here's my video, my backup video is being made, okay. LBS Studio, you make scenes. Here's where I backed up a bunch of my different scenes, and so I edited, edited some of these scenes I already had and then saved them with a different name. Uh, did a backup, you know. And uh, it actually automatically saves whatever you change. So if you think you might want to go back, you better back them up. You go up, here, up in the program. And you, it don't, you don't want to do any of these kind of things while you're, uh, you know, doing a live video or recording a video. Especially when the USB, I, I, first thing I did was I tried to look at the, some of the settings in the USB and it locked up the camera. Well, it didn't lock up the camera, it locked up this, it just froze the video where it was on in OBS Studio. <laughs> you can kind of get away with it with the Wi-Fi cameras when you're using the Wi-Fi, but you never know which thing's going to mess you up. So. so anyway, I thought, I made a bunch of screenshots and uh, I thought I might show some of them. To exp try to explain what I finally figured out, I have I have a couple of webcams and I have the uh, endoscope that's USB, and I just now tonight finally figured out how to be able to 
what was happening is when I would uh, only run one, it was only wanting to show things up in, I was talking about it in a, I, I don't know if I'll, I haven't uploaded any of the uh, previous, I made some videos, you know, not streaming today, you know, I didn't really plan on uploading, I was just kind of doing notes to self. But um, anyway, uh, I would plug it into the, the, there's two ports on the front of this Lenovo i5. I call it i5 because that's the processor in it. I uh, can't remember the model number, but this Lenovo quad core i5 processor, 4 gig of RAM that I'm using here. Um, it, um, I wasn't, I knew I had used two webcams at once before, but I was having trouble. Uh, recent and last recently in the last <laughs> this whole last year, if I plugged in two, uh, especially since I got this new one, if I plugged in the endoscope and this camera, then uh, I was getting just one of the cameras on every setting, no matter how I, you know, whatever how I tried to change it. Finally figured out. Now this is going to be backwards, but uh, oops, guess I'll leave it like that. Somehow I think you can make it full screen, but that kind of, yeah, that does make it a little bigger. Let's do that. So, uh, now that's the end. So we're just going to, I'm going to go backwards. Um, so these are my settings. I was just looking through them to make sure what's, you know, everything's okay in this, at this point. And, uh, <clears throat> keep going here now uh, OBS studio I have it to encode in uh, x264 uh, h2 h264 and um, it just says X there I guess it's whichever it means whichever I guess um, and that's something I noticed I was trying this app right there let's see come up now Oh, I see. That's part of a screenshot. <laughs> this app here called GUVC View. I, actually, I, I've used it on and off for years, but uh, that's, I have it up there so I can get to it quick. It, uh, I accidentally clicked on that instead of OBS Studio. I forgot what the icon looked like. So I thought, well, let's just try it out. And I figured out in that video, in those test videos, that uh, it defaulted to uh, YUV, I believe, video. I'll get to that in a minute in here. Uh, but you could change it to H.264, and that made the video, it was grainy looking until I changed it to H.264, and then it got really sharp and clear. And so I could not figure out, and that's one of the things, I could not figure out a way to do that. It wasn't available in uh, OBS Studio. I don't know why. Uh, since it, it encodes in H.264, so you would think it would, uh, you know, the settings would allow you to do that, uh, but it wasn't a, wasn't uh, so uh and that's what i'm uh, i'm doing 30 frames per second and my canvas is uh, 1920 by 1080 uh, okay now here's some screenshots in you know obs while i was well this was after it froze i think and what i figured out is uh you, you i needed to rename i was leaving the default name video capture device v4l2 and uh, when I started doing it separately, I realized, oh, I'm going to have to rename those because in OBS you can't have, well, you can. Uh, yeah, you can. But uh, anyway, I started, I just wanted to rename them just because I wanted to be able to tell real quickly which camera am I looking at. And finally, I, it, somehow I muddled around until I realized that if I rename both of these, not just one of them, I was renaming just this new one and not the other one, you know, for the endoscope. Uh, this these have their separate names from these sources, and uh, you can leave them by default, or you can rename them. And so once I finally renamed them, this is going backwards. Then it finally worked. See, I was only getting the USB camera when it was plugged in the endoscope. I wasn't getting the 4K camera anymore. And so finally, it came back after I renamed. And there it would. Uh, this is the name that uh, that that the camera sends out. And and you pay attention to these USB. Uh, uh, identity or uh, 
addresses, those are the addresses of the USB in the system, that it didn't matter how you tried to set it. Well, what it was is it would have, you wouldn't have the two different addresses. This is, it ends in 1.4. And uh, there's what I was talking about, the YU12, not YUV. It's YU12 or YV12, I believe, is the two choices. It doesn't have the H.264 in there. And uh, once once I uh, renamed this, it allowed me to, uh, the next thing, here we go, I, I renamed it, and then next time it went uh it worked, uh, and, and it allowed me to choose the. Uh, well, it was allowing. It kept saying demo one, but it was. Uh, hard, let's just keep going backwards. I really don't remember it well enough. I should have went forwards, I guess. But uh, there's the endoscope in the picture. That's what we were seeing in different scenes over here. Some some of them I have more than one camera in the same scene. See, that was the default name right there, <coughs> and. Uh, so see this one ends in this is the uh, endoscope and it's working like like I want it to and uh, that's it ends in 1.3 and so uh, see there's demo one with 1.4 again and I just anyway I kept going around in circles and uh, trying to figure it out now I like to make screenshots to help me remember things as I'm trying to figure things out and that's uh, that's with the that's at a point to where see when I was using the same name the default name, the uh, the Comrie camera the 4K camera was uh, showing it was working in the endoscopes uh, scene, but and the reason it looks like that cut off and everything is because the video resolution is way bigger than the endoscope so I could resize it and make it fit but I didn't want to mess up my endoscope I wanted those to stay endoscope. So, uh, see, that says 1.3. What I had done was I turned off my camera, my 4K camera. Endoscope wasn't plugged in at first. So I had turned it off and uh, unplugged it and then plugged the endoscope into, I thought it had, what it was is it had to do with uh, which port I had them in. That's what I had decided. But that wasn't it. It was, uh, it was the naming of the source. Uh, you need to give it a custom name. You can't leave it on the default and have have it work for two separate cameras. I thought it had to do with uh, the address. I used to think that the addresses, well, I had decided that the addresses stayed with the port. Used to, I always thought the addresses moved around uh, when you went plug and unplug things. And I still haven't quite 100% sure about all that as far as in your system. Uh, but I, I swear that it, back in Windows days when I used to run XP pre-2005, uh, that's a long time for me to remember things, um, I had thought that uh, they would just rotate it, you know, it just give it uh, the next address if you plugged and unplugged things. But in recently, in the last few years, in Fedora Linux, it seemed to me, and since I started using OBS Studio, I seemed to me that it, each port was getting the same address every time, and I still didn't quite figure that out. I kind of forgot about it once I got it, even thinking about it once I got it working. But um, so, um, what is this? Okay, see, that's when it was uh, the uh, 4K camera was showing up on my endoscope scenes, and I was trying to figure it out. And uh, I'll just kind of go, oh, and here's the stuff about the Y. Yeah. Okay, so here's the setting. See, uh, oh, and the resolution, the highest resolution it has is 1280 by 720 going through the USB. It doesn't do 1080 through the USB cable. Uh, it it has two choices in this software, uh, in this one and in the uh, other software. I forgot the name of it now. That one gives you UVC view. And then the other, uh, as far as the resolution, it was 1280 by 720 and something quite a bit smaller, I can't remember, 640 or something. And see, it's YV12. I tried that. It didn't look any different for me. I almost thought the picture was uh, like, like it actually made it look as if you zoomed out a little bit, like I looked smaller in it, but I really couldn't tell for sure. Okay, look at that. You can tell. Okay, look at that. See, I look smaller, and if I go to the t uh, 1280 by 720, I mean the YU12, now I look closer, and the default is YU12, and so 
usually the default works better uh, with a lot of apps, especially in OBS Studio. It, you kind of sticking with the default is probably the safer thing to do. But yeah, I just now realized that for sure. It makes you look uh, as if you're zoomed out on my V12. On my U12, you look closer, and that looks better. So I like that better anyway for the way I'm using the camera there with it. Just just want it to be a headshot camera, you know. So uh, and there it is. You know, that's when it was still on the. Uh, and all that is off and not uh, not fitting, but just because that's the resolution is so much different and bigger than the uh, uh, endoscope. Endoscope's only capable of, I don't even, I think it's maybe 480 or something. I don't think it does 640. It's for close ups only, you know, it's not a. So, uh, <clears throat> and that is my camera one, the one that I'm using to aim towards the screen, towards the camera and the screen right now. Uh, I normally keep it out the window as a security camera, so that's where it was at the time. And of course, that's a it's a dual uh, shot of the. You see, what I wasn't that would normally be the endoscope, but I, I'm using it. To, but that's when I when I just plugged it in. Th at this point, I had just plugged it in, and that's what it did. It was at first it was working on the USB 4K. I had set that when I first got the camera two or three months ago, and I. Hadn't messed with it since. Got that part working, but it was working on all those scenes, and that wasn't, you know, that's not at all what I wanted. So, um, let's see. And the default, actually, for everything is uh, color. The, def well, uh, the default for frame rate in resolution was leave unchanged. And so I really didn't know what resolutions and frame rates I was getting, and the color was defaulted to not full color, something like lesser colors or some odd word. I don't know what it was even supposed to mean. But I thought, well, I want full color, so I put it on full color. And it didn't hurt anything, didn't overwork the machine. Uh, so I, that's been good. Let's see, yeah, that's the, uh, well, that's the default. Now see, at the first time I plugged it in, it had uh, this, the demo one had the 1.3 uh, address. And uh, I was trying to see. You see, I tried all these different settings uh, just to see what they would do, but also trying to figure out my getting everything. See, now it's it's selected as the USB 4K. Trying to see, oh, that was I was looking through, trying to I, I don't know if I was trying to fix it or what, but I think I was trying to fix it at that point. You know, I had so many screenshots, <coughs> but um, partial. That's what it is. Color range partial. Now. We'll, what are you getting? Uh, I, <laughs> I spent years learning. It, I, I spent years learning it. I had it in my head for years, and now I'm forgetting it. <laughs> now there's, they're not telling you what's what. You know that makes it even more complicated. That does not make it easier, people. Don't make up your own names for what things are. Use the standard uh, ratings and names and numbers and for things. You know, um, partial and full. Tell me the. Uh, whatever's the standard, I can't remember for colors right now. But, I mean, like I worked hard for years. Uh, you know, I learned audio and video in the analog days back in the set. Uh, I started in uh, about 83 with learning to mix sound using a, a you know, console. And uh, I ended up, I, well, I ended up got to the point where I mixed sound for bands to, to pretty much throughout all the 90s. Uh, for about, about 12 years, I mixed sound. Most weekends. <clears throat> well, I guess probably 10 years I did it most weekends, a lot of weekends. And then, like I said, I started in 83, and I had a little little uh, PV. <clears throat> and I learned to mix on it, a little PV-powered mixing board with a couple of 150-watt speakers. It was pretty good, except for it had that PV buzz in the amp. But... Uh, they used to be bad. They used to be noisy back in those days, back in the eighties. But um, anyway, um, yeah, that was the default right there. Yu twelve, uh, leave unchanged, leave unchanged, and uh, partial color. So, uh, well, like in, in your, if you're, in, like in, um, you know. <clears throat> They, they'll put it different ways, like you learned that in, in Windows, you know. Uh, you had to learn it to work with your video, you know, whatever video 
uh, card you had or whatever, uh, you know, first it was, well, I got up to 16 million. I don't even, okay, so I don't remember the numbers. Like I said, 16 million colors, you know, 32. It started out with, uh, way back in the olden days. Uh, it changed really fast because I didn't really get into computers till 98. And I didn't have my own computer to work with until 98. I, I learned some things in like uh, 91 or so. Went to 3.1. I uh, had a friend, a roommate who had a 486, I think. Yeah, and I, I learned um, I learned to make spreadsheets and stuff and Microsoft Works and make write my resume. I already knew how to type. I learned that in junior high back in the 60s. Uh, so uh, Underwood typewriter. But anyway, I, I love to learn things, so I fiddled around in that thing a lot. And then later, a couple of years later, a friend had a, uh, you know, a Windows 3. Well, it might have been a Windows 95 laptop. I, I played around with it a lot. And I did get on the Internet back in the, you know, early 92, 93. There wasn't really anything on there that I liked. People chatted, and <clears throat> there wasn't much in the web website. Still, you couldn't look up information or anything that I, that I knew how anyway. And when I finally got a computer and got on AOL in 98, um, I, I learned uh, Alta Vista uh, was the main big big search engine, and you had to really learn how to search. You know, you had to put the right terms in. And then there was a the government bulletin boards, uh, BBS boards and stuff, learn how to search them. That was a good resource of information. <coughs> I don't know why I'm talking about Internet history. <clears throat> All right. So, um my internet history so i'm just I t trying to explain i was trying to explain why i was complaining about the way they do this but um, this is a wonderful program this obs studio it is the best streamer i've ever used and recorder <clears throat> do both at the same time or you can do one or the other oh i was trying to click on something i'm in a pre in a screenshot <clears throat> i was going to go show, look at my video and recording but let's get it get done with this didn't plan on spending forever. Okay, that was. I like to take screenshots to tell me where. If I don't finish a video, have to get up or something, then I'll look at my. Screen. If I need to, I'll look at my screenshot and see where to go. But <coughs> <coughs> uh, let me get a cough drop. It's uh, <coughs> it's actually cool. It was <coughs> cool, fairly cool outside. Close this. Yeah, it shows to be 64 up in town, but it's been raining and it's really humid. Uh, my, I, tr I had to, I turned the air conditioner down and tur and shut the windows because I was sweating. It was so humid earlier. And I got up. I've been up all night. I got up around 10 or o'clock, I think, or something like that. And then <clears throat> I've been messing with this all night. But uh, then um, it was set on 75, but it's 79. It's just staying at 79.2.3 in here. And uh, so finally I opened the window again, and it did make me feel better, but it's so humid. <coughs> <coughs> what I was trying to say, now the allergies are getting me. Okay, oh, I forgot to make sure my stream is working. Oh, it's frozen. Dang it. Let me see. I don't know if something, oh, I think that, I must have forgot to, I didn't forget to turn off the audio or I would have heard it. Let's see if the stream's frozen or if that machine has just stopped playing. 
It shows green, so it should be all right. Yeah, it's all right. Good. There we go. <clears throat> I think uh, make sure the audio's turned off. Can't sit there and listen to that. He's driving me crazy. It's it's delayed. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> I've got to. <clears throat> Stop coughing. <clears throat> okay, um, now that was, that was important for me to figure out. It was it was really a a headache. Not, I, I guess basically I had done it before with the other my old webcams up there. I must have forgot how I did it. <clears throat> Actually, I think from all I can really remember is it worked sometimes and sometimes it didn't. Like if I had them plugged in, or I booted up the computer, plugged them both in, and then opened up OBS, it would be fine. But if I unplugged one, plugged another, you know, plugged it back in, or did anything like that, it was all messed up. I can't remember for sure. <clears throat> But now I finally figured it out, so I thought I'd put mention you know, make put this in the notes itself of the video of a video here. Okay, so now what I want to do, let's see. The main thing I want to do now is uh, <clears throat> I don't know if this will you know, you won't be able to read it, but at least you can tell what it, the heck I'm doing here. I, w I might put it, I'll put, if I see anything I want to show, I'll put it up under the endoscope. But first I got to find it. I was planning on using the endoscope <clears throat> to, let's try it, to read this. Oh, it's too high. <clears throat> okay, let me bring it down. Okay, so, I don't know if we'll both be able to read this or not. <clears throat> yeah, that'll work. The, the legs get in the way. It makes it, it doesn't always work really well. <clears throat> I guess if I don't, oh, I've got this thing uh, plugged up. You gotta, it's hard to remember to move slow enough, though. Let me go ahead and find my section that I want. And then I guess I can stick just stick it up there to show what parts I want to show. And uh, <clears throat> I can't read a word of this. This is so tiny. But I went through it already today. <clears throat> So I would kind of be prepared, but even if this thing had page numbers, I wouldn't remember them. So I just have to flip through it. I want to get to the part of this Wi-Fi setup. I have not done that yet. I've read it, but I have over it several times. <clears throat> oh, it has a uh, has a remote. And, um, Works okay. You got to be careful with the remote though. If you press the wrong button on it, see it'll zoom in, but it gets a little more grainy when you do that. You can, or you can see the grainy when you do that. I guess you might say, because <clears throat> I can kind of tell it's a little grainy. I don't think it's no, it's it's more grainy here. I believe when I watch the actual video back, I'll know for sure. Pretty sure since I can't select the H two sixty four that it's not as sharp as it could be. <clears throat> I guess I could play some of that video. <clears throat> I'm, I've kind of thought about doing that several times. Before I go on to this, 
before I go on to this wireless, <clears throat> I'm going to just play a little bit of that. Oh, my stream has a <clears throat> yellow, red, yellow, red on my OBS studio to tell me that it's not so great, but it looks okay in YouTube. Well, it did. Actually, I just now realized it's quit playing again. I think it's just that that machine can't handle it. You know what? I think I've opened up Firefox way, way earlier before I started streaming. And I can hear the fan working hard, so I think that's what it is. That's only a 1.6 gigahertz single cord laptop that I'm previewing my stream on. Yeah, it just can't handle it. <clears throat> I hit reload, and it's not reloading. Well, I want to make sure my... I'll close Firefox. Usually I can close Firefox and then open it back up once it quits working so hard. I will look before I do anything else. I'm gonna look in the <clears throat> here and we'll show it to you. I'll we'll show it to both of us. <laughs> I do have to watch this machine running the endoscope. I don't uh well with my old webcams <clears throat> And, of course, the older video formats are less efficient than the newer ones, so it could have actually worked the machine harder than a newer camera but a higher resolution. But so far, so good. I've had these, <clears throat> um, you know, the, 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 the 4K and the endoscope. I hate calling it 4K because I know it's not 4K, but <clears throat> and it's definitely not streaming at 4K. I just clicked on... Uh, Firefox and it still hadn't opened up, so that's what I was talking about. The uh, machine may get overwhelmed. That's why I'm worried about my stream quitting on me and when I least expect it. Laptop, I may just have to be rebooted. <clears throat> it's still working hard. I guess that's what I'll do. It doesn't take very long at all to reboot it. The laptop stays running all the time because it's actually my web server right now. <clears throat> I used to use desktops, and they got the one I was using for a couple of three years. It uh, the fans got got wearing out in it, and it got really loud. <clears throat> Let's see, there we go, live dashboard. <clears throat> oh crap! It says I'm offline. <clears throat> so that must have been why it quit playing. So, I'm still making my backup video, though, so I'll now I'll have to upload this video on the top one there. Assuming it's still working. Well, the bigger they get, the less... you can. See, the reason I keep that like that is because I can look up there and see if it's still working. Um, but once it gets over a gigabyte, it's really slow to change. So, it's 1.4 now, and we'll have to look back in a minute. But yeah, it doesn't say that I'm not that my stream has stopped or anything. <clears throat> now that my laptop's done, let me get it logged in. Okay, still working on logging into the laptop. <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> oh, it's back. Well, it didn't stay down long enough <clears throat> to, um, it didn't oh, it's back. Okay, so it didn't stay down long enough to lose the stream altogether. <clears throat> so that's good. <clears throat> so I'm going to get my, uh, <clears throat> see I don't need this open anymore 
web browser right now. <coughs> I was going to have to restart the stream. And I was like, okay, now, how's the best way to do that? <coughs> Still end up having to upload the uh, <coughs> backup video probably because there'll be stuff missing. But unless it's not too much, sometimes it's not that noticeable. So I was sitting there on the, I forgot to where I was at. I wasn't paying real attention to where I was at. I should have, you know, got to this camera a while ago. And then you'd actually seen what I was doing, not just hear me talking about it and looking at my OBS screen. It's easy to get confused when you're old. <coughs> but um, I'm going to open up <coughs> Firefox again. I rebooted the laptop. Open and log back in, open up Firefox and get it back to the uh, uh, my live stream so I can watch it. And uh, if it gives me trouble again of uh, uh, acting up, then I may have to uh, stuff in Firefox keep keep popping up, telling you all this stuff when you open it up. There we go. It says live, <clears throat> but it hasn't come in yet. <clears throat> there we go. Live in green. Uh, immediately working the thing. Sometimes it does better than others for some reason. Okay, we got sound, we got video. <clears throat> I usually turn off the sound and let the video play in this, you know, not the full screen, just a smaller preview <clears throat> and it does okay for several hours <clears throat> but it didn't last very long this time well it has been long how long have i been on here almost an hour 52 minutes okay so uh i'm gonna i can just glance up there and see that i'm okay so i'm gonna leave it unless it acts up again if it does that again i'll just pause the video but then it takes you so long to check your video you got to reload this unpause it but then you got to reload it to get it to the point where you are now Okay, now what was I trying to do? I was trying to get to the Wi-Fi, but I said I wanted to show something else first. What was that? I do not remember. Oh, that video. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, GUCB video. Now, um, <clears throat> I'm actually not sure... Uh, yeah, it would be the, I did three, well, the second one's not anything, I didn't mean to start it, and I started it. <coughs> yeah, I'm going to open up this video, <coughs> and, um, uh, okay, done here with another test. On, and what I'll do is, oh, wait, am I, what am I on, the camera or something? Yes. Now, what I'll do is kind of skip through, <coughs> through it. <coughs> but if I try to talk, then I'll be talking over. <coughs> over myself. <coughs> there's no, there's never a good time for me to make a video. I always have some sort of trouble with coughing and stuff. But here it is. <coughs> and I'll kind of skip through it. But yeah, this is this. Uh, doing the H.264, I can tell by how sharp it is. GUVC view. Um, <clears throat> I went ahead and switched the camera output, <laughs> the input to this <laughs> application from the camera output, but it calls it camera output, uh, to H.264. I know that's, uh, well, I'd forgotten if it did 64, 65, but I uh, wasn't thinking about it until I saw the uh, YUV or whichever one it was. I think it's YUV that was using by default. I want to see if that made a does make a better video. I can see right now they're just not grainy like it was. I thought that was awfully grainy for this camera. Uh, you still can't go any higher than 1280 by 720. It's only got two to choose from: 640 by 360 and 1280 by 720. I what I'm going to find out here is is that the limitation of the uh, camera or the limit that it's sending out through USB or is that the uh, uh, Limitation of this application. I'll try it in OBS Studio in a minute. <clears throat> but uh, uh, AWD spans for, but under. Also, I have to have it pretty close for me to see it. To, 
I don't know if that's turned on or not. Floating out in the breeze to us Americans. <clears throat> Unless you're just really into learning that stuff. But uh, uh, with it just recognizes it and, bur and brings it into whatever app I've tried it with so far. The size of it, uh, it's all in millimeters. Weight, grams. So that part doesn't mean anything to me. <clears throat> Those are just arbitrary numbers floating out in the breeze to us Americans. <clears throat> Unless you're just really into learning that stuff. I thought I'd play the rest. Go ahead and play that whole little section. I remember me saying that. <laughs> so it would make sense. <clears throat> Didn't make any sense anyway, though, did it? Okay, so... Uh, now. <clears throat> here we are. <clears throat> in comparison... It uh, won't go to H.264 in OBS Studio settings. It doesn't. It's not there. <coughs> it could be. I just thought <clears throat> could be because I'm actually streaming. Oh yeah, I'm streaming. <clears throat> well, I'm using H.264 encoder. I saw that. It was in the screenshots, and I saw that earlier today. But I'm actually, oh, yeah, you can use H.264 inside of it. What I'm streaming is FLV, and I'm also saving it as an FLV, I believe. <clears throat> Let's look and see here. Yeah, FLV, Flash. I forgot what it stands for, but it's Flash format, Flash video. Flash, F, L, what? F is Flash. L, I don't know. V is for video. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, the container the container is H.264. And so, um, or it could be the other way around. The flash is the container. No, the container, yeah, I guess it is. It, I can't remember. <clears throat> one way or the other. One's the container and one's the uh, encoder. H.264 is the encoder. Yeah, it's encoded in H.264. FLV is the container. Right, okay. Now I remember. <clears throat> there we go. So, um, and you could do, I've always, I've left it on that and uh, because it works so well without any trouble. I knew that if you try to use uh, MPEG-4 as your container, it really works your machine. <clears throat> and I think I tried it for a short time on this machine <clears throat> when I first started OBS Studio two or three years ago, three, three or four years ago. Well, it did make a noticeable rise. So you can actually see in the program the CPU usage right here. See, it's using 57%, but I always keep the system monitor open. And this is a quad core. See, it's showing over all of all four CPUs 26%, and then a little bit more. See, these other things don't use enough to even make a percent. So, but 26 to 30, even 5 or 39 is what it generally stays at, and I'm okay. But if you really want to see each, see 30, 30 to 40, same, a little less, a little less on each core. So the overall is about <clears throat> uh, 20, 26 to 35 or something like that usage. And it'll ju that's just what, that's what OBS uses. Um, this machine can handle that, and if I don't open too many other things, if anything starts getting unruly, gets a memory leak or whatever, starts, <clears throat> then I, if I don't notice it, and shut it down, it'll it'll kill my stream and mess me up real bad. But uh, <clears throat> um, so yeah, that that uh, will actually be interesting when I watch it back. I should be able to tell if there's any difference between that video's clarity, you know, and the way it looks with be I've got the best highest settings <clears throat> and the best uh, well I, I mentioned a while ago I kind of showed that in the screenshots uh, confirmed it to myself there the YUV looks closer it's like it zooms in a little bit in the YV12 uh, I guess it's YU12 and YV12 uh, anyway YU looks a little closer and in this situation, that's really, I like that better. I don't need to be further away. The, the whole point of this shot is to be showing me. So, so uh, um, let's get back to our Wi-Fi <clears throat> now. 
This book's pretty long. Uh, it's not worded terribly, but not great either. You really have to kind of go over the, some of these sentences three or four times. I do to kind of get them because they're not in your, <clears throat> you know, your standard English way of wording things, American English way of wording things. <clears throat> Of course, everybody kind of knows how challenging it's going to be sometimes to read the, uh, some of it. Some of the Chinese instructions and manuals look like maybe they ran it through Google Google Translate or something. I mean, it's really bad. <clears throat> this one's much better than that. I imagine a person did it, but unless they found some, using some software that's, I hadn't thought about that. You know, people usually expect, when they comment on it, and when I think about it, you think about it as being a person translating it for them, but that's a lot of money to pay somebody, and they, they're trying to save money. You know, they're making things as cheap as they can, so they might just be using uh, computer translators. And haven't, they've had some pretty good ones for the last, well, for the last 20 years. And started getting uh, getting into using them <clears throat> back in, you know, very early 2000s, like at, in or about 2000, I think. Okay, so I'm... I close one eye and look through the magnifying glass with the other. And okay, Wi-Fi. Open the Wi-Fi function menu. Select on. Press the OK button. The Wi-Fi function is enabled. After <clears throat> now I can't. Let's try looking at it on the endoscope. I'm losing my place. It's very small to me. <clears throat> Let's see if I can. I've got that tripod brought up closer thinking it might help let's see help me been moving it around if I fold this backwards then maybe I can <clears throat> do it I've lost the place there we go there's two sets of pictures there we go if I, I don't know if I can hold still enough. <clears throat> I think I better put it back. Because I can't hold still. There we go. It's pretty grainy, but that's as low as I can get that. Well, I can't it without going through a lot of trouble to move make it better but uh, <clears throat> I don't know if you'll be able to read it in the video but I can read it on my preview so hopefully you can open the Wi-Fi barely <clears throat> I guess it was better to have it up way I had it. maybe if I get both hands over here I can get still there we go Open the Wi-Fi function menu. Select on the press. Select on and press the OK button. The Wi-Fi function is enabled after. I lost my place. That's why I didn't want to do it. That's why I was afraid I shouldn't do it that way. <clears throat> there. After the Wi-Fi function is enabled, the DV returns to preview mode and the display, the Wi-Fi SSID and Wi-Fi password. Okay. <clears throat> In this case, open the app to select the camera SSID and enter the Wi-Fi password and then it goes on to another section <clears throat> so um, that sounds familiar now that, that I saw it now that I remember that it skips on it goes on to every it's kind of giving you a rundown I guess in that set part there <coughs> <coughs> Those cough drops that I have aren't as good as the ones I used to have. Same brand, but I couldn't find the lemon ones, I think it was, and I had I got cherry. I like cherry, but these don't really taste like real cherry. Oh, what's this? I got some more. Oh, 
Yeah, I got some more cherries. <clears throat> anyway, usually I don't. By the time I finish one, I've got an hour or so at least of <clears throat> no itchy throat. But it, <clears throat> as soon as I finished it, <clears throat> it came right back. Of course, it could be because it's. I've got the window open on a musty, musty, day, rainy day. Okay. All right, so. Let's see. <clears throat> I'm fixing to put it up there in front of the... Okay. Now, now here's the um, there's one of these see the Android I, I run Android I don't have any Mac stuff so there's an Android and a Mac app and um, <clears throat> so the Android scan the uh, OR, QR code I'm putting one hand under it to raise it up and the other one trying to move it. Follow the wizard <clears throat> to download the app. And um, VF Cam APK. Okay. I first download it, touch the app to install it. And you can search VF Cam. And you can search VF Cam in Google. I already did that. <clears throat> and I'm almost, I can't. I didn't go double check, but um, play it and use it to install. Okay, and then iPhone. Okay, so <clears throat> I thought I might do that because <clears throat> I've already tried. <clears throat> I've already looked. Well, I guess I'll go get on. Um, I'll go 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 into my Google or get in my bookmarks <clears throat> first. Uh, because uh, I, th I was thinking I might just try it on my one of my phones, but there's no point in wasting time d doing all that if it won't work. I've got a tablet that uh, uh, I've got these three phones, and then I have a newer, and they're older, and I think it uh, says it's not compatible with my phones. And uh, <clears throat> the tablet's newer. I don't really want to put it on there if I don't have to because it's uh, not. I bought it from my mom, and I don't use it really hardly ever. I don't like putting stuff on there. It'd just be confusing for her, you know. And I'll put it on there, and I'll probably have to take it back off. I definitely won't. I don't want to go grab it and use it. <clears throat> then if I'm using it, she can't use it, you know. Well, let's look at... Uh, <coughs> and that's not how I want to use it anyway. If I can <clears throat> do it, I want to. If I can get it to show up on my network... I want to see if I can hook up to it uh, <clears throat> through OBS Studio. If it's putting out a VLC video LAN compatible stream, <clears throat> then uh, oh, Android. That's why I have it in there. Android apps. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I already forgot what it said it was. V VF Cam. Okay. We'll just search for that first. And I guess if we organize it by yeah, there we go. VF Cam. I was pretty sure I'd already been there. Oh, that's a search for VF Cam. Okay. But that was, might be it. <clears throat> Video field. Let's go to it and see. That's yeah, so I thought. In, incompatible. Not compatible with my devices. So, if that's the right one. Let's see. That doesn't look like it. I 
I'm searching on the page. Am I on the? Yeah, I'm on the desktop. Okay. Well, there's only one that's. Uh, I'll try VF. Let's see. Let's try VF dash cam. Yeah. VF cam without a space. That must be the app. Um. <clears throat> So that's not usually what I do when I've looked it up. I uh, I keep a link to it saying not compatible with my. Maybe I didn't because I wasn't sure. Oh yeah, it won't matter. See, well, I actually have another phone besides those two. I don't know why the other one's not showing up. But one of them I originally bought for mom, and then. I'm trying to select that and copy it. Well, I'm just going to close this, and if, if I need to go back there, I'll... <clears throat> yeah, I see my video still making. It's 2.1 gigabyte now on my backup video, so... I almost I completely kind of forgot about it and my my preview I'm checking my yeah I still got audio yeah and it switched it's a little behind <clears throat> what you're at doing yeah it switched to my what I'm showing now <clears throat> okay so um, let's see I have them both up and running, but see, I have to, I can get into my mom's, that's the other thing is like, like go to Google Play, I can use the scanning and do it directly on the tablet, <clears throat> but to, uh, <clears throat> I probably have to take it out of its little, <clears throat> um, this is, this is one of the phones. <clears throat> <coughs> I'm just going to try it once <clears throat> since I've got it all sitting here. <clears throat> See if it. Um... <clears throat> I've actually forgotten how you do it with this. I don't do it that way. I usually go to look it up. <clears throat> <clears throat> You got to use the right app. <clears throat> oh, I remember that. <clears throat> I've got. <clears throat> see what I got on here. I would imagine you're going to want a Google app. Oh, I guess you'd use. Uh, uh, I generally. Whoops. Went to sleep. It must be set on go to sleep in one half of a second. I better fix that right now. I won't be able to do anything. I I had the, this phone had been sitting there with no battery in it. My batteries are swelled. You can probably see it if I hold it up there. I don't know if I can get there. They're swelled so bad that uh, the one for this phone is swelled so bad that it disconnects itself from the phone. Oh, this one is out of another, the other phone, the one I usually use for my wireless mic, but I'm not using it today, so I put it in here. So I got to go to the. Uh, I got to remember where to go. <clears throat> what does I want? Display. So since the battery's been out, I think that yeah, sleep in 15 seconds. It can't even do anything. A minute will be all right, I guess. This battery is down to 89. It's not staying up as long as it used to. Auto rotate screen. Everything's off. All the good stuff is off. Okay. That'll do. Now, <clears throat> yeah, I can't read these phones without a magnifying glass. I hardly ever use them because of that. I use them for cameras, and I haven't even been making any videos lately, so. Scan, scan, scan. I don't think you can scan from the Play Store app, can you? <clears throat> uh, 
And also, these things don't have the. Uh, got these things several years ago now for fifteen bucks each, <clears throat> and they're great phones, quad cores. Uh, <coughs> they're quad cores, but they only have a, a gig of memory, and they have thirty-two gigabyte of onboard memory or something, or sixteen. I think it's sixteen. And they fill up, <clears throat> even though I have like this one. I have, I think, a thirty-two gigabyte or sixty-four gigabyte card in it. SD card and I put all the apps on the card it still fills up the, the extraneous stuff that comes along with apps still fills up the uh, onboard <coughs> chip <coughs> so I end up having to take stuff off <coughs> so I got um, and the older they get the worse they there's some things you just can't seem to get out of there I use you know clean uh, total uh, to, all in one toolbox to clean them up but seems like you can't get all the crap out of them, all of the cash and stuff. Over time, they have got to where all I could do was just, and I haven't been adding apps, you know. All I could do was just, uh, I just left them as they were. I got them the way I wanted them, and I left them. But I don't know. I can't remember. I don't see a, I, I had like scanning apps that I liked better than the Google apps, but uh Actually, can't even remember what app you used to scan with on here. <clears throat> to, you know, go in the Play Store. I don't know, I don't know if I want to try photos. Let's see, is it photos that can scan stuff? I think it might. But that would just scan it and put it in in Google Photos, I think. I may um, be wasting my time here. Okay, I'm going to try. I'll open up the Play Store app and see if it can do that. I don't think, I don't remember it doing that, though. <laughs> Just opens it up and says, you know, you can search by voice. <clears throat> yeah, I, I can't see this good, and uh, so I've always just done it on my computer and just remotely installed it from my computer is what I've always done. So, uh, let's get the tablet. And, um, I guess I'll get it set right here. <clears throat> See what we got here. Yeah, I didn't see any. Uh, I must have deleted any kind of scanning apps off of that phone. <clears throat> I didn't see any. I remember, <clears throat> well, I remember, I don't remember the names of them now, but I remember I had one or two that I really I liked quite well. I don't know if I put one on here. <clears throat> I'd, I'd try not to put too much stuff on here because my mom wouldn't even know how to use it anyway. <clears throat> Web to PDF. <clears throat> Tiny cam free. 
Oh yeah, that's so you can view IP cameras. I think. So little dots. Uh, there's one called Google Goggles that's kind of helpful sometimes. It's not on that phone anymore. I noticed that. Um, as far as Google Apps, but let's see. Yeah, there it is, Goggles. Let's try that. <clears throat> it might just actually, actually take me to the Play Store if I... Hello, Google Lens. Goggles is going away. <clears throat> well, Google Lens is available in the Google Photos to help you explore your world and scan text, learn. Oh, well, let's forget about that right now. That needs to be just taken off of there then. <clears throat> um, I have a hard time looking through these any kind of list and seeing stuff, what I'm looking for. I didn't look in. I didn't open photos a minute ago. <clears throat> Did I? Voice search. I'll try Play Store and see if it... I don't think it has anything built in to scan the codes. If it does, I've never... I don't remember seeing it. I'm chewing on my... Last of my cough drop. <coughs> my nose is... Running on me now. realize that I didn't remember how to do these things okay <clears throat> well how would I remember if I don't remember I can't remember right so <clears throat> okay so I don't see anything about you know scanning and scanning an app or anything so or you where's the uh, my apps and games Let's look in the My Apps and Games section and see if there's a way to update. No problems found. <clears throat> so I guess the automatic update. Oh, no, update all. I don't know if this thing is automatic updating or not. Well, hopefully I have that set up. Installed. This is a qu uh, eight core tablet it's a cool tablet it's, it's, it's a chinese tablet but it's been fine i've had it i bought it for mom several years ago only thing it does is <clears throat> when you boot it up it will show the uh, battery time wrong it'll be like it's right now it says 26 <coughs> percent but if you reboot it <coughs> it should jump back <coughs> up to <coughs> what it really is which should be 80 or 90 something percent it'll run all day <clears throat> on the battery but it'll give you the erroneous readings <clears throat> okay so there's nothing I can see in Google Play <clears throat> and I can't type on a tablet so I, that's the other thing is well I have a really cool wireless keyboard that I bought for it, but she never was. She never had been using it. I brought it in here, started using it on my phones because they're really small. And I was trying to got it all turned on and ready to use, and it I kept hearing it <clears throat> click. You know, making a little noise when I'd hit buttons. 
but it wasn't doing anything on here. And finally, it hit me. Where's that sound coming from? Back here. This this camera was up and running, waiting for me to do my video. <coughs> so the last time I'd used it, it was paired with that phone back there. So I didn't want to mess that up because that's what, later on in a little while. I need to go in there. I use it as a surveillance camera out my window, and it automatic. You have to set it up and. Uh, the app I use is called IP Webcam, and you have to set it up. That's what I'm using right now. That's how you're seeing me. It's streaming over my Wi-Fi, and then I'm picking it up with OBS Studio as a, a VLC stream in OBS Studio. <coughs> and uh, it um, I went blank. But anyway, um, <coughs> get back to what we were doing. I completely went blank. <coughs> I can't believe this. Okay. Um, this is why I haven't done any videos. I haven't, my brain has, I haven't been feeling well for <clears throat> several months. My brain, uh, my brain just not, not doing good. <clears throat> but, uh, but I've been wanting to do this and somebody, a friend, I, uh, most of the time we just, you know, send a text once in a while, every couple few days to a week or two on Skype. And, but <clears throat> they said, well, do you want to, video chat and I said sure and uh, so I, gr I had to plug you know I had to get my camera out and plug it in and everything and so I thought well now that I finally got it set up let's, let's use it for what I've been saying I wanted to do to myself for the last several weeks <laughs> or a couple of months I'm trying to look and see about where you would <clears throat> I th think there used to be a uh, photo scan is that it must be it. I doubt seriously that that's going to. Oh, QR code. It's a QR code app. That's what I'm needing. Your device isn't compatible with this version. What? So you can't use it. It's on there, but you can't use it. Photo scan bug. Oh, I don't think it's installed. I think it was trying to get you to install it. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's stupid. Lead you to something that's not even, <clears throat> not only, it's not on your system, but it's not even going to work. This is getting aggravating. Okay. Um, and I can plug in, <clears throat> I see, I'm using a wireless mouse and keyboard on my laptop up there. Not, uh, but you might have wondered, why, how did I control the laptop? If you didn't already know. Uh, when I was looking at it, <clears throat> that's how. And I can unplug that from there and plug it into here. I've got a little adapter. I had that long before I got that little bitty keyboard. That's why I thought, well, I don't have to use that little keyboard on here. Matter of fact, I'm going to check my stream again. It looks good. Yeah. So that's what I would need to do if I was going to have to type or anything on here. <clears throat> but I thought, first, let's just see if I can get the app. I did not know I didn't even have a way to... I swear I put that's like you know to me a standard app a QR code app and uh, I, I'm pretty sure I just had to un uninstall it on that other phone because it was needed space but uh, I can't, I, I, I'm surprised I didn't put one on here when I set this up may be there and I just don't see it. I think there's one called just QR code something or other. <clears throat> Seems like it starts with QR that I... I don't seem to have anything that will scan QR codes on this tablet. <clears throat> and I don't think it's got any problems. It doesn't have enough stuff on it to have problems of getting full or anything. 
<clears throat> well, I, w I saw the, uh, I'll go into the settings. I don't think there's a way in the setting, in the app section of the settings to do that, but let's look. <clears throat> just shows your apps that you have it is easier for me to read there in a you know <clears throat> just a single file list I can actually read that simple scanner that might work that's probably the one I've been looking for and I never saw that like I was saying and the Exodo docs, that's an office type, but it might scan. I kept I kept saying that thinking, I wonder if it would scan, but this stupid tablet, it keeps everything open and you have to go down and shut it. Now what was it called? There it is, simple scanner. <clears throat> <clears throat> the uh the cover hides the cameras though I'll probably have to maybe I can hold it up <clears throat> I've got a pen down here in the bottom ink regular ink pen that keeps it to where I can get to the buttons otherwise it drops down so far I can't get to the buttons yeah okay here we go something that I scanned let's see I want to kind of see there's a button just for straight to scan but select an image I wanted to see if it had something about QR codes telling you that it will do that. Okay, I don't know if it will <clears throat> do anything, but let's try it, I guess. I'm not quite sure. Let's see if my, yeah, I think my, uh, Looks like maybe my, uh, I do have to get to, I don't want to have to take it all the way out of here if I can help it. These old tablets, these tablets are so slippery that, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to take it out. I can't do this without taking it out. That's pretty sucky. I mean, it's a nice deal if it would just <laughs> function. Let's see if I can get that code. Oh yeah. Only thing is, it's got two codes in the picture. I need to be closer. There. Will that work? Okay. Now what? It just took a picture of it. That's all it did. I hit the back button to try to get out. I think it's going to... No, it didn't close the app after all. Well, let's see if I can get it closer to me then. Seems to be the problem <clears throat> is I'm too far away for this. There. Try that. It's got both of them in there, but... I wonder... There's a like a target in the middle. You see now that's not good because there we go. What do I do? Turn it? Make it go to sleep? Yeah. Or maybe it went to sleep on its own. This is hard to. Yeah. Try it this way then. Now I won't be able to hold still, but. There we go. Let's see if that'll work. <laughs> Didn't work. Okay. <clears throat> so, um... Uh, Oh, let's get out of there. We don't want camera apps running. That'll run the battery down. 
Okay. <clears throat> I did not. I tried to prepare everything I could think of, and I f did not think about this. <coughs> so, <coughs> to get to the desktop, what I need to do <coughs> is see what QR code app I like. <coughs> If I'm going to have to put one on there, I think it'd be, well, it's, you know, you're more likely to get the thing that they, uh, I can look on my phone again to see if I can find the QR code scanning app. Maybe I missed it. <clears throat> I think what I'm going to have to do is uh, take a break, though. But let's look <clears throat> first and see. Well, I have to have a break so bad. I can't, <clears throat> can't wait. So uh, I'm gonna have to go, and I'll come back and try to get back at this here in a minute. Okay. Mm -hmm. 